Next, we're going to connect the tubing from the outlet side of the pump and run it to the injection nozzles on the back of the inlet. Okay. Now that we've run the tubing for the inlet supply to the pump and also from the outlet or pressure side of the pump to the nozzles, we're ready to reinstall the factory windshield washer container. With the windshield washer reservoir now installed, we're ready to connect the supply tubing to the injector nozzles. Fairly simple procedure. After it's inserted, the full length, pull backwards just to make sure that it has a good connection. With tubing in place, we are ready to install the variable controller. As you can see, we have a number of wires as well as tube. Uh, the instructions are very clear as to the hookup of these wires. We'll demonstrate the process in just a few moments. We're now ready to install a variable controller inside of the cab. We will begin by threading all of the wires and turbo boost tube through the dash and then through an access port in the firewall. With all of the cable and also turbo boost pressure line run through the dash and the firewall, we're now ready to connect to the inlet of the engine. Using the black rubber hose supplied with the kit. We're now ready to install the K-connector, yellow wire to the positive, red wire to the negative, which is indicated on the K-connector. Uh, we've determined also to uh, install the female end of that plug on the computer side. This line is going into to the dash to the variable controller. And to have the male portion of this K-connector <coughs> installed on the pyrometer probe side for safety purposes in the event in uh, disconnecting it shorts out against metal, thereby not creating a short or a damage to the variable controller. So now proceed to hook them up. Yellow wire first to positive. You'll notice also as we're doing this that prior to installing these wires, we've inserted the, the rubber grommet that will go inside of this domed area of the K connector. Now we will install the negative side, red to negative. Now we're going to replace the cover, grommet in place. We're now going to install the rubber grommet on the lead wire coming from the pyrometer probe. And we'll hook up the opposite side of the K connector, the, the male portion of that, just like we did the opposite side. Now, we're, with each of the portions of the K connector correctly installed, we are ready now to connect both sides, positive to positive, negative to negative. <clears throat> Spray pattern is perfect as it ought to be. Okay, we've now connected the turbo boost line to the in-dash controller. We've connected the thermocouple with the K connector. The white wire to the pump red power wire underneath. 
<clears throat> we've connected the red wire that came from the controller to a keyed source uh, with a 25 amp fuse and connected the black wire to a, an excellent ground location as you can see above. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to place this on the bottom of the controller first. That way I can position it in the best place possible. Now I'll pull the uh, tab to expose the adhesive. Carefully placing it on the dash, giving firm pressure. Voila, 